Part 1. The Unsettling Arrival. In the heart of the dense, foreboding woods stood a mansion that time had forgotten. Its decaying facade bore witness to decades of neglect, its windows like the vacant eyes of a forgotten specter. None dared to tread near. The tales of the mansion's dark history had woven a tapestry of fear in the minds of the locals. One store-laden evening, a group of five adventurous friends, Lena, Mark, Alex, Sarah, and Jake, gathered around a flickering campfire. The air was thick with anticipation as they whispered stories of the mansion's sinister past. They laughed nervously, trying to conceal their unease, and Mark, the charismatic daredevil, declared, let's see if this place lives up to its reputation. In the veil of night, the group embarked on their journey. He whines howled through the trees like tormented souls, guiding them toward the mansion's looming presence. The path was treacherous, and with each step, a sense of impending doom cast its shadow over them. Yet, driven by youthful curiosity, they pressed on. As they reached the mansion's doorstep, lightning forked across the sky, illuminating the mansion in a ghastly glow. The friends exchanged uncertain glances, their bravado waning in the face of the mansion's eerie aura. The door swung open with an eerie creak, as if beckoning them into the unknown. Hesitation mingled with exhilaration as they entered the mansion's dimly lit foyer. The air hung heavy with the scent of decay, and their footsteps echoed through the silence like the whispers of ghosts. Lena. The quiet artist of the group clutched her sketchbook, her fingers trembling. The others masked their unease with forced laughter, but even their bravado couldn't drown out the undercurrent of fear. The mansion's interior revealed a haunting beauty. Dust-covered portraits adorned the walls, their eyes seemingly following the intruder's every move. A grand staircase spiraled upward, its wooden steps groaning underfoot. Friends ventured deeper, drawn by an irresistible pull that seemed to emanate from the very walls. In a room adorned with moth-eaten curtains and fading wallpaper, they discovered an ornate mirror that seemed to reflect more than just their physical forms. Mark's reflection flickered, his confident grin replaced by a visage of dread. He turned away, but the reflection remained unchanged, mirroring his inner turmoil. Laughter no longer came easy as the group navigated the mansion's labyrinthine corridors. Whispers soft as a sigh brushed against their ears as if secrets long buried were eager to resurface. Sarah, the group's skeptic, scoffed at their unease, attributing the sounds to the wind. Yet, even she couldn't ignore the feeling of being watched, the weight of unseen eyes upon them as the night grew darker. The storm outside intensified, its fury matching the turmoil within the mansion. The friends gathered in a parlor, their lanterns casting eerie shadows on the walls. Their attempts at levity faltered as the wind's mournful howls seemed to echo the mansion's history of pain and tragedy. Exhaustion and uncertainty crept into their minds. With a mixture of apprehension and determination, they settled into makeshift beds for the night, their hearts racing at every creak and rustle. The mansion's unsettling hold tightened its grip, ensnaring them in a web of fear and fascination. Unbeknownst to them, the mansion's legacy of darkness was poised to unravel in ways they could never have imagined. As the clock struck midnight, a haunting melody began to resonate through the mansion, its mournful notes mingling with the storm's relentless symphony. The friends' fates were sealed, their destinies intertwined with the mansion's malevolent secrets. Unbeknownst to them, the mansion's legacy of darkness was poised to unravel in ways they could never have imagined. As the clock struck midnight, a haunting melody began to resonate through the mansion its mournful notes mingling with the storm's relentless symphony. 
the friends' fates were sealed, their destinies intertwined with the mansion's malevolent secrets. Sleep proved elusive that night, as unsettling dreams and restlessness plagued their makeshift beds. Lena awoke to a soft whisper that seemed to dance on the edge of her consciousness. Her heart raced as she glanced around, but the room was empty, save for the dancing shadows cast by her lantern. Outside, the tempest raged on, a chorus of nature's fury that seemed in harmony with the mansion's whispered laments. Sarah tossed and turned, her skepticism waning in the face of the relentless storm. The walls seemed to creak in distress, as if the very building shared the pain it had witnessed over the years. Hours passed, marked by the rhythmic drip of rainwater leaking through the decaying ceiling. The mansion's presence was inescapable, a weight upon their souls that made it difficult to breathe. Mark, the self-proclaimed skeptic, found himself staring at the door with a mix of apprehension and curiosity. A shiver ran down his spine as he realized the door was slowly creaking open. Friends' eyes met, wide with shared terror. They gathered around the door, their lanterns casting flickering light into the yawning darkness beyond. Sarah's bravado crumbled, replaced by an icy grip of fear that left her speechless. Without words, they made an unspoken agreement to venture further into the mansion's depths. A corridor stretched before them like a tunnel into the unknown. Shadows danced along the walls, and faint echoes of footsteps whispered back at them as they moved forward. They stumbled upon a room unlike any other they had seen before. The walls were adorned with macabre paintings, each depicting scenes of anguish and torment. Lena's fingers trembled as she flipped through her sketchbook her urge to capture the eerie scenes warring with her unease. Alex, the group's joker, attempted to lighten the mood, but his laughter was met with silence. Their unease was palpable now, an oppressive weight that clung to them like a second skin. It was then that the chilling realization struck them. There was no going back. The mansion, once a mere backdrop to their adventure, had ensnared them in a tale of terror that refused to be ignored. They had become part of its narrative, its characters dancing to its malevolent tune. As dawn approached, casting feeble light through the mansion's cracked windows, the friends found themselves standing before a grand, ornate door. A whisper seemed to beckon them, a siren's call that promised answers to the questions that had plagued their minds since their arrival. The door swung open with an unnatural ease, revealing a chamber that pulsed with an otherworldly energy. Before them lay an intricately carved pedestal adorned with an ancient book, the very heart of the mansion's secrets. The pages were filled with cryptic symbols and forgotten incantations. Lena's fingers brushed over the faded pages her curiosity overcoming her fear. The incantation beckoned to them, a path to salvation or ruin. As Lena's voice quivered, she began to read the incantation aloud, her words weaving a tapestry of magic and mystery. The air grew heavy, charged with an energy that left their hair standing on end. And with each word spoken, the mansion's presence intensified swirling around them like a tempest. The air crackled with anticipation, and a sense of inevitability settled over the group. They had dared to unlock the mansion's secrets, and now they would be forever bound by the consequences of their actions. The shadows deepened. The storm outside matched the turmoil within, and the walls seemed to close in on them, suffocating them in a malevolent embrace. The mansion's unsettling aura clung to the group like a shroud as they ventured deeper into its labyrinthine corridors. The portraits lining the walls seemed to watch their every move, eyes that had witnessed centuries of secrets and sorrow. 
Yet, the friends pushed forward, determined to uncover the mysteries lurking within. Mark's bravado had waned since their arrival, replaced by an unease he couldn't shake. He glanced at the portraits, his imagination conjuring sinister whispers that mingled with the rustling of the wind outside. Sarah, the skeptic, clenched her fists as she tried to suppress the growing dread that gnawed at her resolve. In a room adorned with faded tapestries, they stumbled upon an antique gramophone. Its presence seemed both out of place and oddly fitting in the mansion's unsettling atmosphere. As they wound the handle, the gramophone crackled to life, filling the room with a haunting melody that seemed to resonate with the very walls. Lena's fingers twitched, her artistic sensibilities stirred by the eerie tune. She began sketching the gramophone, her hands moving of their own accord, but her drawings took on a life of their own, the once static images twisting and contorting into grotesque forms. The friends exchanged horrified glances, the realization sinking in that the mansion's influence was stronger than they'd thought. The night grew darker, the mansion's walls seemingly closing in on them with each step. Shadows danced along the corridors, their movements mirroring the dark thoughts that now consumed their minds. Jake, the ever-curious explorer, ventured ahead drawn to a room at the end of a dimly lit hallway. The room was a tableau of forgotten memories. Dust-covered furniture stood frozen in time, a silent witness to the lives that had once occupied the mansion. But it was the aged writing desk that caught their attention. Letters lay strewn across its surface, each telling a fragment of a tragic tale. As they read, their hearts heavy with sorrow, a chill crept into the room. Sarah's skepticism crumbled further as she read one letter that spoke of a love lost and a promise broken. The walls seemed to whisper. The walls seemed to whisper the words of the letters, the mansion's secrets clawing their way into their consciousness. Fear and empathy warred within them, the mansion's tragic history tugging at their hearts. With a trembling hand, Lena reached out to touch an old, ornate mirror that adorned the wall. Her reflection stared back at her, her own face etched with anxiety and uncertainty. But as she watched, the reflection's smile twisted into a sinister grin, a parody of her own emotions. Lena stepped back, her heart racing, as the mirror's surface seemed to ripple like disturbed water. Time seemed to blur as they delved deeper into the mansion's history. Flickering lantern light cast elongated shadows that danced along the walls, distorting reality into a surreal nightmare. Mark's once confident demeanor had crumbled, replaced by a paranoia that clung to him like a second skin. He swore he heard footsteps echoing behind them, even when they were alone. As dawn approached, the storm outside had subsided, leaving the mansion in an eerie silence. The friends gathered in a room that appeared untouched by time, its walls adorned with faded photographs that seemed to capture fleeting moments of joy. Yet, even the photographs couldn't mask the pervasive feeling of melancholy that saturated the air. Their laughter had grown strained, their camaraderie giving way to unease. The mansion had woven its threads of fear and doubt, entangling them in a web of its own creation. They shared knowing glances, their silent acknowledgement of the sinister forces at play, binding them in a pact they never asked for. With every passing hour, the mansion's secrets revealed themselves in ways both subtle and chilling. Echoes of the past resonated through the corridors, whispering tales of heartache and betrayal. Friends had set foot on a path of no return, and the mansion's malevolent presence would not rest until it had unraveled every thread of their sanity. 
With every passing hour, the mansion's secrets revealed themselves in ways both subtle and chilling. Echoes of the past resonated through the corridors, whispering tales of heartache and betrayal. Friends had set foot on a path of no return, and the mansion's malevolent presence would not rest until it had unraveled every thread of their sanity. Sarah's skepticism had crumbled, replaced by a growing sense of unease that matched the mansion's ominous whispers. She found herself drawn to a room, bathed in moonlight, its windows offering a view of the overgrown garden below. As she peered out, her reflection morphed, the once familiar features warping into a visage of sorrow. The room's atmosphere shifted as if time itself were unfurling within its walls. Sarah gasped as she witnessed ghostly apparitions among the trees, figures shrouded in mist, their faces etched with pain. She stumbled back, her heart pounding, as she realized the mansion was not content to merely hold its secrets, it yearned to share its suffering. In their shared solitude, Lena and Alex explored a forgotten library. Ancient tomes lined the shelves, their pages filled with forgotten knowledge and incantations long silenced. Lena's fingers traced the spines, her artistic curiosity piqued by the intricate illustrations, but the words seemed to move on the page, shifting into chilling narratives that spoke of forbidden rituals and otherworldly encounters. As Lena's unease grew, she caught a glimpse of her reflection in an old mirror. Her eyes widened as the reflection grinned back, its features a cruel distortion of her own. Panic seized her as the mirror's surface seemed to ripple, revealing fleeting glimpses of nightmarish landscapes. She stumbled away, her mind racing with visions that blurred the line between reality and illusion. Meanwhile, Jake's curiosity led him to a room adorned with moth-eaten tapestries. The faded scenes depicted hauntingly beautiful landscapes. But as he gazed upon them, the images shifted. The once idyllic scenes twisted into nightmarish tableaus. A garden overgrown with thorns. A sky ablaze with crimson flames. Jake's breath caught as he felt the room's walls pressing in on him suffocating him with a reality that defied logic. Mark, the charismatic daredevil, had become a shell of his former self. He wandered through the mansion's corridors with a paranoid gaze, his mind plagued by shadows that seemed to follow him. The once unbreakable bond between friends had frayed under the mansion's influence leaving him feeling isolated and alone. As night gave way to dawn, the mansion's presence intensified, its malevolence reaching a crescendo. The friends found themselves in a room adorned with countless mirrors, their reflections fragmented and distorted. In each mirror, they glimpsed alternate versions of themselves, twisted reflections that hinted at the darkness lurking within. The room seemed to close in on them, the mirrors multiplying until the boundaries between reality and reflection blurred beyond recognition. Panic swelled within their chests as their own reflections seemed to mock them, revealing their deepest fears and insecurities. The room became a hall of mirrors, each surface distorting their perceptions until they questioned their very identities. As the sun rose, its feeble light filtering through the mansion's stained glass windows, the friends stood before the grand staircase. Their laughter had vanished, replaced by a somber understanding of the mansion's power. Their bonds were strained. The foundation of their friendship tested to its limits, but the mansion's malevolent influence had one final revelation in store, one that would force them to confront the darkness that had taken root within themselves. With each step, they ascended the staircase, their footsteps a solemn cadence in a symphony of dread. The mansion's secrets were only beginning to unravel, and the friend's journey into its depths had yet to reach its harrowing climax.